everyone, welcome to Piano Well. This is Emma Newman. In this series of videos I'm going to show you how imagination and singing affect piano playing and help create your own interpretation of music. Correctly perform articulations help create more expressive character of music. Also, if they are performed in the right way, they don't bring any unhealthy tension to the mind and body of students. Unfortunately, students are not taught how to accurately feel and play staccato, tenuto and marcata, the way that would enrich their feeling of music, improve interpretation of piece and also benefit their technique. The common understanding about articulations is Playing staccato means touching key shorter. Playing tenuto means pressing a key deeper. Playing marcato means stressing a key more. But if you ask students what do they feel while playing articulations, the answer would be probably nothing, except maybe some discomfort because they would have to strain their hands in order to change the touch. So that blurry understanding about articulations always leads students to simply ignore articulations in the score or playing them very, very approximately. And because students are not taught how to play articulations uh, with intonation through singing, with fingertips and finger muscles in the palm of the hand, what they usually do, uh, they will start lifting up fingers or wrist more in order to play staccato, but that wouldn't bring any accurate tone and bring only some additional tension to hands and health attention. They would do something like this. Instead, they can just play like this. Easy. <laughs> Later, I will show how to reach that. Now, with Tenuto, the same thing. They will start kind of pressing the key, you know, deeper in order to make deeper so sound, something like like this. Again, that doesn't really make sound correctly, and the I feel stiffness in my hand over here. So when instead it's supposed to be this way, and with accents the same way, they was just strike the key harder, something like. When instead should be. in my hands while playing articulations accurately. <laughs> so articulations are variant of intonation, internal singing. If you want to know about this, click this video, check how I explain how to make intonation and wait. So uh, now I'm going to show you how I sing different types of articulations. So this one, staccata, when I'm singing, I'm singing the first half of the way with resistance and then the very end I extremely speed up. So that would be staccata. Now the note the same weight resistance in the first part of the way and then more weight in the second part. So if you are seeing the scale is to know that this way. Accents is a mix of tenuta and staccata. Again, resistance in the first part and the second part, extremes, speed up plus weight. It's like a dog barking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so now why we can consider that if something changes our intonation and singing, that would automatically change our playing. 
is because the energy of breath between nose while singing affect directly the sensations in our muscles so um, we can feel tension in our fingers and actually the whole body and arm um, with different type of energy and that energy depends on our uh, singing so let's take a look how it works with playing so while singing correctly with articulation, distance between notes, my fingers would translate the singing sensations into the um, right feeling of how to touch the key. So what I mean is when I'm singing, this resistance, and then speed up, my finger muscles would respond to the sensations and basically I control my finger muscles by resistance while singing. Uh, with all articulations, um, muscles over here would work very good very well but my hands would be always relaxed and loose so i can play staccato and i can play fast in fast tempos and the sensations will be the same just intonate faster. The same with tenuta. Oh, even faster. <laughs> I actually don't know if we actually play portamento faster, usually it's for some slow tempos. And then accents. absolutely relaxed. I have no unhealthy tension in the muscles. So when you intonate this way internally again and you play and the very first three notes comes with, uh, not the very first, <laughs> here three notes comes with the note that you're intonating then comes the kata so that changes a lot because usually Susan's just like nothing special. So if I play with tenuta, okay, my hands will naturally go the way they're supposed to go to produce tenuta on the piano. staccato thing again here this is the staccato with the crotchet so it's not super staccato but still and you know that painful intonation right away. Now let's come back to accents. If we make accents, what we do, we uh, accelerate the second part of distance between notes and we um, bring more weight at the same time. Like I said many times, accent is a mix of staccata and tenuta. Um, so if I sing this with accent, oh, 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 this is our accent, and when I start, again, I'm not just starting, no, do, 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 I'm making with accent articulation, oh, 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 and then this gives the feeling. Again, I'm playing the way I'm playing, not because I'm talented, I'm, I'm not talented at all. <laughs> I just have a super great desire to play well and I think I'm quite smart okay sorry so uh, when I'm 
when you can feel the emotions through my playing is not because I'm genius, but because I'm intonating it with right articulations that gives this energy to, to the sound and that uh, this energy you can feel. Uh, so in the very end, when I intonate everything with articulations, so... fingers to you know, to tighten the key in the right way so these are articulations guys <laughs> that's it it's that simple and in my next video I will explain how musical speech helps to uh, reach accuracy in large leaps and brings more expressiveness to your melody lines thank you bye bye